All right, I was uh, I was recently contacted by this this company here, Placino. I, I've seen them all over eBay and Amazon, and they asked me if I would review one of their products. So I told them, yeah, send me something for free. I'll check it out. So let's see what we got here. two things in here that are taped together huh gee I wonder what that's gonna be cool box really. uh, yeah one this one says fishing reel and this one says fishing rod Take a look at the rod first. Yeah, came with a little sheath. This is kind of cool. I do need a new telescopic, but the one I've been using has a. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. It's different than the other ones I've, I've done. It's actually wrapped in plastic. It's pretty cool actually. All hollow. And even the back part here comes off. The foot comes off. I thought it was going to be the same thing as all these other ones that I've checked out and used before. But uh, this one's only got four eyelets. Oh, here we go. Uh, 1.8 meters medium action quarter ounce quarter to one ounce that's actually not bad because most of the telescopics I get are really thick down here this is kind of nice it, let's see how tall is that it's a six foot rod it's not a six and a half or a seven it's a six foot rod so it's a little shorter than what I'm used to or what I normally use, but that's actually really nice. I'm I'm impressed by that. Uh, they sent it to me. I'll post the link for it down in the, the description. This thing's actually pretty cool. I like the uh, design on the on the real seat here. These extra pieces. It's actually, man, this is, I am actually really impressed with this. I like this. That's pretty cool. Because most of the uh, telescopic rods I get, it's like using an ultralight because they're so flimsy. And there's, no, there's a lot of flex to them, but they're super thick, so it's weird. This is, this is a regular rod. It doesn't even feel like a telescopic. This feels solid. The flex there, yeah, this is, this is a regular rod. This does not seem like a telescopic. It's the medium size, like a regular fishing rod would be. That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, take a look at the reel. The rod is impressing me that much. Let's see the reel here. interesting this is a uh, thank you note get their information on there but it's also got a use a QR code below to start a chat with the Placino this is about uh, testing out free products pretty much what they contacted contacted me for that's what they're it's like a pro staff application pretty much Uh, 3,000 size. All right, I got the reel installed on there. Pretty interesting design. It's actually a really cool rod. I, mean, I actually like this. I'm pretty impressed by it. I think the reel is a little heavy, 
for the rod, but I mean, it, it'll work. I mean, I get, I would say a 2,500 or a 2,000 size would be better for this rod because it's only a six foot rod, but this is a 3,000 and, uh, it's got some power behind it. You can, I can feel that and it's smooth and quiet. All right, get this rigged up and go. Another thing I just noticed right now, most of the telescopics I use, they have uh, plastic inserts in the eyelets. This is all metal. It actually looks like brass. So that should be pretty smooth. All the way up to the end there. All metal inserts, all metal eyelets. That's pretty cool. A lot of the telescopic ones I've seen, they use plastic. and After a while, the plastic wears out and it starts uh, fraying your line. So this is this is really nice actually. Out of this spot, I've got the uh, the reel spooled up. This is kind of heavy line, but uh, it's it's appropriate for the reel. It's probably like 15 pound line. Walk up slow, see if I see anything swimming around here. Yep, there's a bass. A couple of bass. Oh yeah, we should do good today. That's that's not bad at all actually. Decent casting. That was. That was a pretty good distance, and I barely flicked it out there. This might not be the uh, appropriate bait to use today, so I might have to switch up in a minute, but I'm going to get some casting. And this is a lightweight bait that I use all the time. You see in all of my videos. Getting some attention there. Looking at it, but it's kind of cold today, so they're not too active, but I can see them just hanging out. That's not bad for considering how I'm not I'm not throwing it all that hard. So that's it's not bad at all, really. Get this stuff out of my way. Oh, I thought I think I had a bite there, but I wasn't paying attention. The line is a little it's still new, so whenever I loosen up on it it kinda wants to come flying off, so it's a problem with some of the lower end lines. little bit higher right about there this is gonna be like the maximum cast about as far as I can possibly cast it and that was uh, that was a pretty good distance I mean not considering the lightweight lure that I'm using I think if I put a heavier bait on there I'd be able to cast it all the way across and snag those branches over there Oh look, there's a good looking bass right there, hanging out in front of me. It's like he's actually swimming up to come check me out. It's not a very big one, but he's just hanging out right there. There we go. He's looking at it. Oh, an even bigger one just swam up looking at it. Another even bigger one. There we go. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. It's a nice little quad, actually. Got an ant on him. I don't know how he got an ant. I guess the water is actually warmer than the, the temperature feels, because this is... This is probably a 12, maybe a 13, and uh, the water, it's a warm, the fish is warm, so I'm guessing the water is actually a little warmer than the temperature would, would let you dictate, so. Yeah, the water is actually warm, that's crazy. That's awesome. 
All right, there's another fish right there. But as you saw there, that it, it actually had some nice solid backbone on that hook set. So I like that. That might have actually been the same fish I already caught because you just swam off as soon as it hit the water. But there's one checking me out. The water, it, I'm kind of surprised how warm the water is. It's pretty cool. Let me go that direction. There we go. All right, it, it, I think this is jig weather, so I'm gonna do a. I'll get these small craws. I'm gonna set them up on a jig. A lot of rocks to get tangled up up in, though. So I don't really like throwing jigs too much. It's real small, lightweight jig, small profile bait. Cast about the same as the skinny Senko. And that's exactly why I don't like jigging this river. Well, since I'm snagged, let's give it a tension test. See the rod, rod bends there. It's actually still got some good backbone. And it actually popped loose. Wow. I wasn't expecting it to pop the jig loose there, but it did. Uh, this will be another test for this rod. Because I know it works well with uh, regular size baits, but now I'm throwing something I would normally throw with the ultralight. Whoa. Yeah, that worked. I wouldn't expect, didn't expect it to be that, that good. I actually cast it farther than with the ultralight. I'm actually getting really good distance with this. This is a little tiny jig head, like a 1 32nd or maybe a 1 16th jig head with a little th three inch grub, two and a half inch grub. And I'm able to cast it almost just as far as I was with the heavier baits.